Hello, beautiful friends. We are gonna have a fun time doing this little push and core workout. This is totally body weight, no equipment needed. We're doing everything for reps, not for time today. So make sure you pay attention to how many you are supposed to be doing and try to kind of keep pace with me so that we follow along the workout the same amount of time. So we are starting with a push exercise. It is gonna be a vertical push, really hitting our shoulder muscles. You are gonna flip yourself over. We're gonna go into a pike position. Now, this means you're gonna be here, with kind of like a downward dog, and you can walk your feet in to where it is comfortable for you. Now, if you're like all the way back here, this isn't gonna be the most effective exercise. You might need to spend a second kind of stretching out and just kind of walk your feet, get the backs of your legs warmed up, pause the video, go do a warm up. I have plenty of warm ups for you to do. But the reason it's important is because you need to be able to keep that position. It's okay to bend your knees a little bit if that helps you be a little more comfortable, but you want your weight to kind of go more forward over those hands. So my hands are gonna be just a little bit wider than my shoulders, and I want you to just look kind of straight down, not quite between your hands, but just straight down at your mat below you. You're gonna come down into a push-up. Think about tapping your forehead to the floor and then pushing right back up. We're gonna do that 12 times. Your goal is to get your forehead as close as you can and then push straight up. Notice also my elbows are going right out to the sides. They're flaring pretty much straight out and then pushing back up, you're really gonna feel this in your shoulders a little bit in your back. But make sure that you're not doing weird things with your elbows, yeah? So they just go straight out to the side and come back. All right, we're gonna start with 12 of those. Get yourself situated. Here we go, and try to maintain sort of like a 45 degree angle here with your body. Here we go, 12. This is two, and three. Four, five, notice I'm not going super fast. Six, seven, if you need to take a rest, that's okay. Eight, or if you need to stop early, that's okay too. Just see how many you can do. This is 11 and 12. Cool. We're gonna roll it over, get a little core exercise in while we rest those shoulders. We're gonna do some leg raises. We have two options today. So if you are a little bit more beginner, then I would keep your whole entire back on the floor, press your hands down beside you, get your legs straight up in the air. You're gonna lower those legs as far as you can until you get to a point where you feel like you wanna lift your back off the floor. That's when you're gonna shoot them back up. So you'll feel that really intense tension in your core when you get to that point and you'll know that's time to lift back up because what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to create this gap between your low back and the mat below you. You don't wanna arch. You wanna really think, press, press, press your low back into the floor the entire time by engaging your core. So that's option one, which is still pretty hard. As you can see, I'm already out of breath. <laughs> option two, if you wanna up it a little bit, is basically take it into a hollow body hold at the end. So I'm lifting my shoulders, my upper back off of the floor, and I'm extending my arms up above me and even just a little bit back. By doing this, I also get a little bit of those upper abs working. The higher up you take your arms, the easier it will be, but if you do this, you'll notice you're pulling your weight backward and you're having to work a little harder. You could also even grab onto a small weight if you wanted, but that's not body weight, which is what we're trying to do today. So for now, I'm just gonna have my arms here and I'm doing the same thing, but now I have that little extra bit from having my shoulders off the floor, okay? So let's do 12 of these, whichever version you like. Here we go. This is one. Make sure you keep pressing that back into the floor. Two, and up. Three, think nice and long. Four, and up. Squeeze those legs together. And six, seven, and eight, we're almost there. Don't let that back lift. Nine, it's okay if your legs can't go down super far. 10, two more. 11, last one, 12. Sweet, relax. We're gonna immediately flip it over and get into our pike push-up again. Alrighty, pike push-ups. 12 more. 
I would say aim for at least eight, and 12 would be ideal. These, of course, really are dependent on your body weight, too, though. Here you go. This is one. Up, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, let's rock and roll. I don't need to explain again because we just did it. Back to our leg raises. 12 more. Three, two, one, go. One. And up. And two. Up. Three. Press that back down. Four. Five. These make me so shaky. And six. Seven. Eight, almost there. Nine, ten, eleven. Last one. Twelve. The burners. All right, one more round of our pipe push-ups. Let me flip this way this time. I don't know. I like to have two different views. Here we go. Pop it up. 12 more. Here we go. This is one. And two. And three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. You got it. Eight. Push yourself. Nine. You could probably do more than you think. Ten. Eleven. And 12. Yippee! Last round of our uh, leg raises. Here we go. Finally, this is the hardest ab exercise in my opinion. We're getting it out of the way. Here we go. Legs up. Last 12. You got it. This is one. Two. And three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, almost there, guys. Nine, ten, eleven, last one, twelve. Woo! All right, take a short rest. We are moving into probably one that you're gonna hate me for, but just some regular push-ups. And if you cannot do a full push-up, I would like you to put your knees down. Make sure though that your weight is not all the way back here. Okay, you still gotta stack your shoulders over your wrists here. And then I like to keep my legs a little bit longer. I just find that this is a more comfortable for position for me to be able to lower down and then you want to push back up. Don't lead with your head on the way up. This is not like a cobra or like, it's not like a, what is this called? Chaturanga when you're pushing in yoga. That's not what we're doing. You want to keep your, think about having a line from the top of your head down to your tailbone, staying nice and flat. And then your chest and your belly button are trying to get close to the floor around the same time. Now your chest is probably going to get there a little bit sooner but that is the goal. Now you can also, if you have a bench or a box or something, or even a really sturdy chair or a flat sofa, do an elevated regular push-up. I actually prefer those. So you'd put your hands on the, the elevated surface. You could even do it on the wall too, but um, keep your legs straight with that one. Okay, we're gonna go for 10. Again, it's a range, eight to 10. See what you can do. And if you do need to go slower than I'm going, that's totally fine. I'll try and give a little buffer time after. But I'm gonna go for 10 of these push-ups, whichever version you wanna do. Here we go. And we're going. One, two. I gave y'all a break last week. We didn't do push-ups last week. I don't think we did. Four, five, six, seven, 
seven, eight, Feeling a little weak, so I did not eat breakfast today. Probably should have done that. All right, flip it over. We have a long break to get some abs in. So we're gonna do a side plank crunch. Option one is you're gonna keep your bottom leg bent and you're pushing up here. You're crunching in and out, in and out. I think you can guess what the more advanced version is. It is just straightening the legs out, doing the same thing here. Really think, crunch it in, knee to elbow while pushing away from the floor as much as you can to get that nice lift of the hips. So you'll be getting both obliques at the same time and a little bit of shoulder. It's a lot. Let's just go for eight of these, ready? Pop it up. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and eight. Switch sides. Man, I know I'm gonna feel this one tomorrow. It's good though. We're getting strong. Here we go. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And eight. All right, we're gonna go back to our push-ups. Please don't hate me. Now, I wanna challenge you, if you've been just doing the knee push-ups, see if you can do at least, like just do one regular push-up before dropping your knees. I'm probably gonna do half of them regular and half on my knees just because I'm weak today. <laughs> but let's, let's push ourselves a little bit. You can usually do more than you think you can do. It's just, it's all in your brain, I promise. Once you start pushing yourself, you're gonna start pushing yourself throughout all of your exercises and you're gonna get so, so, so much stronger. A lot of us just stop too early. Here we go. 10 push-ups. Eight to 10. One, two, three, four. Get all your hands, all your fingers flat on the floor. Six. Seven, spread your fingers wide. Eight, nine, 10. You see that? All the shakiness at the end there? Because I really did push myself. All right. It's crazy. I used to be able to knock out like 20 push ups in a row, easy. And now I'm like dying. You know, things change, our focus changes. All right, our side plank crunches. We're gonna do eight more of them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Ooh, my shoulder really feels that. It's from those pike push-ups. I'm burning. Here we go. Our shoulders are getting a lot of love today, I will tell you that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more round of this terrible sequence. <laughs> Push-ups and oblique crunches. Push-ups are the ones that I'm like, I don't want to do. I don't mind the crunches, but the push-ups. Not a fan. <laughs> Again, I think I said this in another workout. Like some days I love push-ups and some days I absolutely despise them. Today I'm despising them, but we gotta do one more set. Okay. Eight to ten again. Pick your poison. Here we go. Three, two, one, get it. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I thought I was gonna fall down at that point. 
All right, let's finish this. Side crunches, side plank crunches. Okay, so this time when we do it, I want you to think nice and long. I want you to think about pushing away from the floor so that you have length here in the back and your shoulder. And then also really reach as long as you can before you crunch in. Don't be so like small here. Like let's lengthen and then crunch, okay? Eight more. Think long and strong. This is one and two and three and four. Halfway there. Five and six, seven and eight. All right. Other side. Is your shoulder feeling it yet? This is making me reconsider whether I need to change our last sequence because I'm dying. Here we go. Eight more. Nice and long. One. And two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Push away from the floor. Seven. And then eight. Woo! Relax. Take a short rest. Rest while I show you the final sequence. Can you believe it? We're almost there. All right, we're gonna go for another exercise in this like pike position. Um, this time you're gonna put your forearms down on the floor and I prefer to kind of clasp my hands together as well. This is a dolphin push up. So you're back up in that pike position again. And what you're gonna do is you're leaning forward over your hands, coming forward, almost like you wanna touch your nose before you come back up. Now. You might not be able to actually touch your nose, but just see how far forward you can go and how low you can go before you push up. And you might feel a lot in your shoulders. You might also feel a lot in your triceps, and that is where you should be feeling it. Um, if you're feeling too much in your chest, uh, make sure that your weight, like your, your hips are a little bit higher. If you need to bend your knees, that's okay. But if you're coming this way, and also if your hands are too wide, you might start feeling your chest. So I'm gonna bring it in to be a little more narrow and then I'm gonna really hike my hips up into the air. Whew, all right. Eight to 10 of these again, they are, they are challenging and you do have to do them a little slower. So I'll give you plenty of time for this set, okay? Eight to 10, here we go. Weight goes forward, touch, and up. This is two. And up. Three. Four. Five. Ooh, I barely got the words out. Six. I'm gonna do eight. Seven. Oh, that's eight. Ooh, wee. All right, let's flip it over for our final core exercise. We are gonna just do a regular sit up. Fun times here, it's been a while since I've done these. But I'm coming all the way down back. I prefer to keep my hands either crossed or just grazing down at the side. That way you're not like inadvertently using your hands. So I'm gonna come cross here and then I'm just lifting up all the way up, back, lower it down. That's option one. Um, you can also do hands behind the head and you can bring your knees up to, oh, see, I can't even do it. <laughs> this way, that adds a little bit of a challenge. Um, so choose whichever one feels better for you and feel free to go slower if you need to. But your goal is you come all the way up. So adjust your body as you need to. Let's do eight to 10 of these. Here we go. This is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We're gonna flip it over, get our, what are those called again? Dolphin <laughs> push ups in. 
feel like today, the today, if you, you can't tell, I don't normally do this, but I am wearing makeup. <laughs> and that's for several reasons, but I feel like this is the worst day for me to do it because my face keeps touching the mat, like when I do the dolphin push-ups. Like I was like, what is that on my mat? My makeup, oh well. All right, eight to 10 dolphins. Okay guys, I'm not gonna talk through this one because it was like really hurting me, straining me to try and talk. So do your eight to 10 and then we'll regroup for the abs. Here we go. I mean, all right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Notice I'm keeping my spine rounded as I come up. All right, guys, knock it out. Your last eight to 10 dolphin push-ups. Get those strong triceps and shoulders. Here we go. regular sit-ups this time I think here we go this is one two three four five six seven eight Yippee! Okay, sweet friends. I'm sorry that was kind of torturous. Like it even was for me, I'll say personally. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to have you back for my next video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>